The phenomenal one is here. AJ Styles is no stranger to stealing the show, no matter the circumstance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. This is a man who is always looking to steal the show and win titles. Endless confidence in his abilities with his proven track record. And no doubt about it, Cole Styles is excellence personified. Truly second to none in the ring. And here comes one of our favorites. And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. Oh! Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit. This guy. And from Fargo, North Dakota, weighing in at 267 pounds, the All-American Jack Wagner. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. And remember, he hasn't necessarily proven to be very courageous as of late. Yeah, and some people are going as far as to call him a coward. I'm not so sure I'm ready to go that far, but his lack of confidence certainly is a reason for concern. We are about to see something good. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton! Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the vacant championship, which means tonight we finally crown one of these superstars as our next champion. And it's about time, if you ask me. And we've seen in the past that he's not afraid to stab somebody in the back to get ahead here and 
WWE. I just hope his opposition realizes what he's capable of. If he's willing to deceive those close to him, there's no telling what he'll do to an opponent. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 219 pounds, Doug Z. Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's right, the title's been vacant for long enough. One of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion. Well, the good news for him, guys, is that he's so egotistical that he likely doesn't even realize how these people feel about him. No kidding, Michael. Talk about living in your own little world. It must be nice to be convinced that you're the absolute best there is, period. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? From Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Bannon Colin! Ladies and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. And no offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say, history has been made at the conclusion. And I'd also note that he's shown a more aggressive side of late. Nothing wrong with that, Michael. If you sit back and wait for the fight to come to you here in the WWE, you're as good as done. Here we go, guys. And standing at seven feet tall, weighing in at 323 pounds, Ladies and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. And no offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say, history has been made at the conclusion. The one thing about him, guys, is that he always shows respect for his opposition. And I assure you that is not an easy thing to do, especially when your opponent is trying to knock your head off your shoulders.
The Fireflies are out. And Bray Wyatt is here. Such an eerie and mysterious feeling in here. And the mind games of Wyatt have only just begun. The time is almost at hand. Bray Wyatt is about to deliver a reckoning. Expect chaos in this match. Eight superstars at odds to see which one is the best. It's going to be very unpredictable, Cole, but it's also going to be a ton of fun to watch. As easy as it may seem to come into a no DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on opponents. Heck is trapped. Netbox suplex. Can't put together much offense with no base. 
This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this. This is a big match feel. Connects the fist to that face. Great timing. Shifts gears and answers with a cross body. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. determination there with that kick out. Listen to this place. It's electric. That could grow to long-lasting knee damage. In a match like this, sometimes the smartest strategy is to find an ally. It can also be the most dangerous if you don't watch your back. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you AJ Styles rolls through.
work, I'd say.
The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match and is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing first at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the vacant championship, which means tonight we finally crown one of these superstars as our next champion. And it's about time, if you ask me. Better get ready. on the line here tonight guys as we look to crown a new champion that's right cole we're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one it's not very often you can say that Look who it is. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 489 pounds. The Height Bros. Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's right, the title's been vacant for long enough. One of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion. This is going to be good.
and their opponents at a combined weight of 511 pounds. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books, and that's really saying something. Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team partner. Counters! Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting whipped. Oh, man! German suplex! Samoa drop! Incredible! Look at this! Boom! Nice! Oh, what a kick to the face! Oh, my God! Focusing on a 
Looking to put an end to this. Snap! Oh, it. There's the pin. Tyler the line. And he breaks up the count. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Right to the kidneys from behind. Evades their offense. And now Mike. Thanks for coming. End of days. That puts him in total control. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. You can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. And that definitely made solid impact. He struggled a bit here. And a heck of a DDT we just witnessed. This is right for him. Thunderous 
Rollins form to follow. Capped off with a big one. And up the turnbuckles we go. A ripping and incoming. From behind, back suplex. Full Nelson applied. Yes, dragon suplex. <laughs> Up into the torture rack. Close the book on this one. And here's the pin. Section. Hoist it up. Disorienting spin and down we go. He's already spending that with his purse. Big four. The power of a deadlift into a military press. Wow. Walking around the ring. A slam. Look at this. From the ground. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Ooh, Jimmy manages to counter with the Lariat. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Uso. Oh my goodness. showing by this tag team. A win like this always makes me happy. I kind of want to hop in there and celebrate with them. Oh my goodness, it's France's greatest export. She's actually French Canadian. Same thing. Oh gosh. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Making our way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Oh, what a blessed evening it has already become. We are staring at elegance personified. Yeah, well, there's nothing elegant about her underhandedness. I don't trust Maurice at all. You wouldn't know what to do with a woman like Maurice, Saxton. I wouldn't want to do anything with a woman like Maurice, Corey. gentlemen by night's end we will crown a new champion and no offense to you cole but part of me wishes gorilla monsoon was here for this match just so we can hear him say history has been made at the conclusion
And Byron, it's almost as if she's literally beaming with pride each time she steps into the ring. And good for her, Michael, though I will tell you that some of her detractors are mistaking that pride for conceit. Oh boy, guys, she is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, She's won multiple titles. She's the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. She's married to the best commentator in the history of the business. Carmella is proof you can have it all. She's not married to me, Corey. Shut up, Cole. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Ugh. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. It's the Irish last kicker. Becky Lynch is ready to fight. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. She is one of the architects of the women's evolution, a key member of the Four Horsewomen. Becky always tries to make a right out of a wrong and will not stand for injustice. As bold as they come, a true spitfire. Nobody meaner than Tamina. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina's come so close so many times to title glory in WWE for over a decade. Finally, Tamina would experience that crowning achievement becoming one half of the women's tag team champions alongside a fellow veteran, Natalya. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalya! Spawned from a family of WWE Hall of Famers, she is the self-proclaimed boat best of all time. Utilizing her style honed inside the dungeon and always maintaining supreme focus inside the ring.
Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here in WWE and seems to get better as time goes on. The epitome of glamour and ability, Eve Torres. From Denver, Colorado, Eve Torres. Eve is a natural born competitor who possesses crazy athleticism and an amazing in ring IQ. Eve Torres is the real deal. Eve Torres, an expert at finding weakness and exploiting it. A woman who turned her back on the WWE Universe and never looked back. It was the best decision she ever made. Laying people out with a smile and a pose. Eight superstars loaded into the ring, and this match is now underway. I'm a little concerned about the rings of the title. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. There's a crucifix, nicely done. And now Torres. Here's the pump handle. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much needed hand. Maybe throw a sack. Going for a pin for the championship. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Oh, and Maurice turns the tables. Watch her set up in the corner. Impressive reversal there. All wrapped up. Then we see Alexa Bliss. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. Carmella planted one there. So much damage inflicted. Oh, Tamina gets cut off. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Control. Getting ugly in there. Out of control. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Right to the kidneys from behind. And Tamina's confidence must be low after that attack. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And that was a purposeful attack on the knee. Looking to topple the opposition. And now Carmella. Oh, look at this. Hair pull that slam. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. The hammer dropped, literally. Something might be broken. Up and down, what a slam. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, fellas, we are looking at a mounted thrashing here. My favorite kind of thrashing, Cole. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh, my God. How in the world? Look at this. Snap suplex. Oh. Here's a pin for the title. Now Carmella. She's quick to get her shoulder up. She's still got a lot of stamina left. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Side headlock applied for a good Watch. measure. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Planning on what to do next. Oh, put down, face first. Getting 
harder and harder to kick out of. She's starting to tire a little. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Nasty headbutt. These competitors came out here poised and ready for a fight. And boy, are they delivering. And now here's Carmella. Suicide dive. That's right, Carmella. Let her know. Let them all know. You are the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. Complete. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Oh, there it is. Yeah. She's fighting desperately. Hit back in. It's her Oh, manhandled slip. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. This is the tightest wheelhouse. The Hart family legacy lives on. Sharp to the pie. The submission and she breaks the hold. for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. And it's Natalya with the reversal. Nice gut grip. And Carmella with a takedown looking for the call for the right hand. No! Pin attempt for the championship. No, she kicks out. Where is she finding the strength? I love it. To the outside. This could get wild. Ooh, she responds with a counter. She's able to get out of the way. Hurts on the shoulders. Rack. for the championship. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. And this has quickly become a match to be remembered. A classic in the making. How in the world is it going to end? And Eve still managing to rally some offense. Yeah, Eve no less dangerous here as her opponent is quickly finding out. Looking for the victory. And looking at Torres. Carefully measured knee. Mella's fully intent on ending things here. Shoulders down, championship on the line. Code of silence, submission is locked in. The man is in. He's not going to settle for this. She's doing whatever she can to escape, but she does. And that attack could be devastating for Maurice. This situation is not where Maurice wanted to be. Great strength being shown here. situation.
offense is prowess in that situation. You have to imagine the gears are turning in Becky's head, wondering what she has to do now to end this. That could have been it right there. Big form. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Boom. Oh, oh. Ouch. Carmella with a championship on the line. The most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! A big win and a big match. Absolutely. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better things. Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Weighing in at 248 pounds, Sheldon Pinjami. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books, and that's really saying something. just exploded and from Augusta Maine weighing in at 228 pounds dirty Dan oh guys we finally crown a new champion here tonight that's right the title's been vacant for long enough one of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion But I also think it's worth mentioning just how self-centered he's become in recent weeks. Yeah, and if for whatever reason you don't recognize his greatness, just ask him. I'm sure he can go on for hours about it. And here he comes. And... From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 212 pounds, Mike Bennett. Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you'd have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit.
Byron, he's quickly proving himself as somebody the other superstars in the locker room can truly rely on. Which likely means that if he ever finds himself in trouble at some point down the road, there will be plenty of superstars who would be more than happy to help him. Yeah, now we're talking. much on the line here tonight guys as we look to crown a new champion that's right cole we're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one it's not very often you can say that Byron, given how daring he's been of late, there's almost no telling what he'll do here tonight. And that's what's so exciting about watching him compete. He's just so unpredictable. You never know what he'll pull out of his back pocket next. And here comes one of our favorites. And from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 150 pounds. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. We should mention that some people are saying he's a coward. Would you agree with that assessment, Byron? Well, unfortunately, it's been pretty obvious over the last few weeks. I don't know what it is, but he just doesn't seem to have the confidence he once had. And here's the man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Well, the one thing we do know about The Miz is that he is living his childhood dream being a WWE superstar, and he has redefined what it means to be a WWE superstar. Finally, put a little respect on his name, Saxton. Miz is a reality TV icon, a movie star, Grand Slam champion two times over, WrestleMania headliner. Oh, and he's the it couple with Maurice.
<laughs> Get out your selfie sticks, guys! And from seasonal residencies, weighing in at 212 pounds, Tyler Breeze! Look, everybody, it's Tyler! A competitor as dangerous as he is gorgeous! Yeah, Breeze has taken part in his share of classics, but now it's Breeze's turn to take the crown. He considers tonight a quote-unquote prove-yourself match. Well, Tyler Breeze is treating tonight like it's fashion week in his opponent's face, like his catwalk. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. And their opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Guys, Shin is as expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style, and he's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. Shinsuke has proven it with newfound brutality. In an eight-pack challenge, the rules are simple. Eight superstars in the ring together, but everyone for themselves. First fall to a finish via pitfall or submission wins it all. The potential for chaos is, to put it lightly, there we go. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when a number of people who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything go stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Great counter by the Miz. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Here's the pin, title on the line. And he breaks up the pinfall. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Section. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. Finds the answer for Nakamura. Suplex. Nakamura's globe trying experience being put to the test here. Bad suplex. Oh, no, it's no, no. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. 
And he's taking this to the outside. No! Oh, come on now. The Miz is being reprehensible. A brutal impact after taking a gigantic gamble like that. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Uh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Show out. Boom! A forearm smash! A big punch! Ouch! These superstars' bodies must be wrapped with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the level, and be here's the pin title of the line? And a kick out at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Right to the ribs. DDT spiked. Uh oh, the arms are on tire suplex. Side slam. Nice. Pain. Sharp knee. Oh, catches a kick to the face. Trouble now.
backbreaker. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? Oh, this move will make you pass out. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment. Oh no, he lets it out. Well, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. He's looking shaky at best now. He needs to give himself some room to regroup fast. Head attack for the championship. Kicks out. How this match is still going on defies all. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Exhibiting a crazy. And he got in there. And it's near. It's all Kinshasa! It's all Shinsuke now! What a match! Look out! Next player suplex! That might be the final nail in the coffin.
Shinsuke Nakamura. Impressive win for him here. A win's a win, and it's also all that matters here in WWE. Good job.